Is that 566,000? There's no way. That had to say 56,000. Hey guys, what's going on? Rounded Tic Tac here, and I just want to bring you guys a small update uh, slash a cool little build I've been trying out called the Shock and Awe. Uh, it's just something you might run in a lower level mission for some variety, and it's actually really good once the scaling bonus we get for abilities. It might be viable in later game because it's a lot of fun to do, uh, but I will show you that in just a second. If you want to skip to that, just click this timestamp up there and you'll get yourself to that portion of the video. But before we get into that, I just want to talk about like two things real quick. If this patch this week brings us all the content that we're supposed to get, even though we haven't heard anything really so far, then I'm going to have one hell of a busy week, bringing you Storm King, Mythic Storm King, dungeons, weapons, mythic weapons, and everything else we do on this channel is going to have me working overtime. And on top of that, I think we're going to go for Worlds first. I don't know if we're going to get it, but we might try. And that means on Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever it's supposed to drop, I'm going to have to wake up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. So these are the things that are coming to the channel. The second thing that I just wanted to touch on is I was requested a bunch to do a video on the best hybrid constructor loadout. It is in the works. Uh, more than half of my builds are currently constructors because we're testing a bunch of different things. We wanted to see exactly what works, how high you can go, and how viable it is. We've tried uh, Rosie builds. We've tried Power Base with Saurian and, and Saurian. We've tried uh a boom base build all of these things we are attempting but it's really hard to gauge where they work and where they fall off so this video is going to take a little more time to cook and honestly because it's youtube when the mythic storm king stuff comes out then that's probably going to get pushed ahead of schedule and this is going to have to hit the back burner so it is in the works we have tested four or five builds already and i have out of those four or five i have an idea of which one i like best but it is in the works. I just want to let you guys know about that. Lastly, we have two more trap tunnel guides coming in the works as well. But same thing as this, they're going to get pushed back if this patch is what we think it might be. So with that out of the way, I just wanted to mention what's coming. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about a fun build that started as a meme that actually ended up being pretty decent. Uh, anything from like 108 to 116 or lower this builds actually a lot of fun so what is it exactly well i'm gonna call it probably the shock and awe or maybe the doppler effect or maybe the crunch and slam or some corny stupid name because it's just a fun build the uh, video is not gonna be huge it's just something you may want to try um doppler effect with this guy uh shock trooper renegade before the rework this was my favorite hero in the entire game he had a buffed up grand pound slam what is it called shockwave Shockwave. He had a he had a buffed Shockwave, and it was a lot of fun to do and use before the the hero rework. After the hero rework, Shockwave for some reason got nerfed. It used to do like 120,000 damage. Uh, now it maxes out at like 90k, 75k around there. However, it's one of the abilities since it's not a deployable that works with totally rocking out, and that means it can crit. And on top of that, we've recently had new characters like. Uh, Azalea and the Cyborg Outlander and even Willow that can buff your ability damage pretty high. On top of that, we have a 56% cooldown reduction. So we're looking at nine seconds every time you use it. Uh, power impact increases the shockwave radius. This is something that you might want to bring for more damage, but I really like this perk. It happens a lot and you can double shockwave and it's a lot of fun to do and space technology to give us the other damage now we have to bring two things here but the key component is sub wafers so what you're basically going to be doing throughout the entire game is you're not even going to be really using a weapon you're going to eat a wafer and slam on the ground that's why i'm thinking maybe the munch and crunch i think that's a cool name uh you eat a wafer you slam on the ground you hit for like 150 160 k and you can do it again in nine seconds and it's a pretty big aoe on it and it does a decent amount of damage i forget what mission we were on but it was one shotting the husky husks and if it can do that then it's a viable ability in my opinion those are the guys that you have to worry about those are the guys that break your walls those are the guys that you really have to make sure you kill before they get to your objective in your tunnels the little guys don't really matter they're very easily killed 
the husky husks and the riot shielders are the troublemakers. So we're going to jump into a mission. There's a good one up right now at 108. Uh, four man, so the enemy should be like 116. Exactly where I think this game is its like peak performance and a lot of fun to play. So we're going to jump in that mission. We're going to try it out. Let's get into it. As you can see, we are in a mission. I just joined the uh, random mission here. So it's, I'm not playing with like my teammates or anything like that. We have a medium encampment and a four man. And let's just see how well it does here. Uh, we have a firecracker pistol as well as our secondary. All you got to do is eat a biscuit, slam the ground. And I mean, like I said, it's not the best build, but that did a lot of damage. Um, a lot more than you would at least think something like this would do. With the biscuits, the fact that it can crit makes it a pretty viable and fun build to run around with. You can, it's already back up and we can go back in, we can eat another biscuit and just bang. It almost one shot to 128. Blaster, that's not bad by any means whatsoever. Uh, so let's keep on rolling and trying out some more of this build and just show you how fun it could play how fun it is you can play just different things in this game all right so here we go the crunch and munch the slam and pam the whatever you might want to call it a fun little build that you can try out on a lower level mission i should have actually gotten more biscuits but i built a lot of these trap tunnels so hopefully uh everything turns out okay we have totally rocking out activated we're just going to jump down into a crowd and bang instantly kill everything now it's not a boss killer or anything like that but it's something different you can play with that's actually it, the the whole eating a biscuit and, and slamming onto the ground every nine seconds is just something that's kind of fun to do and somewhat viable for at least lower level stuff uh again abilities are getting buffed uh in the upcoming weeks so hopefully you know that does happen and builds like this and Dragon Slash and everything else will be a little more viable. You could try this on the other characters that, you know, buff Shockwave. But, I mean, that's not bad regardless. It almost one-shot them. In fact, maybe you could even think about bringing, like, the Affliction guy. Uh, I, it's back up again. That's, that was a big group of enemies, man. Uh, it was back up again because my shield broke. So now we're on a 20 second cooldown. Sadly, they don't record that anywhere. So there's no way to realize what support perks you have on cooldown, what's available to you, or anything. And I honestly think that's a huge change that they need to do in this game. Uh, once the storm rotates, we'll see how much more viable this becomes. All of our trap tunnels will be down by then. Or not down, but they the storm will have rotated. And if we guessed wrong, then... Uh, more enemies will be banking it to the actual base. Like I said, it's it's 128. Ooh, that's probably not a smart idea. Ah! But as long as it kills those husky husks, I think is the main idea here. Plus, every time you eat one of these biscuits, you get health back. Uh, again, we have another slam ready because it broke. Did we guess right on the storm? I think we did. We didn't get down here. Let's see what we can do. You combine this build with a uh, candy corn LMG defender, and now you're in the fray. Eating biscuits, healing up, slamming down, up and down, got it up again, bang, kill everything, take a little damage, that's alright. You know, maybe throw a grenade, and... You got three seconds on it again. Woo! Man, that's fun. I actually, if there was a way to bring your cooldown a little lower than you can without playing this character, I most likely would be using Love Ranger and Jonesy. You can, and you can modify this build any which way you would like if you want. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, jeez. Look at all that acid pools. You know how many enemies were just there? Um, you can modify this build any way you'd like. If Maybe if you don't want to bring just all AoE perks, you can throw in some... You can throw in some... Wow, I can't get over how much it does. You can throw in some assault rifle damage buffs or things like that. But, I mean, the fact that you can just kill everything around you every 10 seconds is pretty nice. We got a mini boss. Let's see how well we can do against him. Maybe that'll give us an idea of the actual damage we are doing. I doubt it. Because it's almost impossible to even see. Is that 566,000? There's no way. That had to say 56,000. I'm going to have to look at the footage. That, there's no way this thing just hit for half a million. I don't believe it. We keep getting these double breaks from the shield break, which is awesome. 
Uh, we got enemies on our base, no big deal. I didn't mean to press uh, Z and bring out my minigun though. That's that's not what I meant to do. Biscuits and pounding, pounding biscuits. Here we go, right here onto the propane. Oh, that I missed. They all got pumped up. And yeah, I mean it wasn't the best execution of it. We didn't guess this one spot down here. One of our guys left. We had an arc chest in the game, and I'm playing with a bunch of randoms. But I feel like we did pretty well. Let's actually take a look at the score stat screen. Uh, I have a feeling. Granted, I built most of the tunnels, but we were doing decent damage to a lot of enemies in big groups. And yeah, almost 8k damage with 2,600 building. Not bad. Something that's pretty easy to try. You can pick up. There's many ways you can play it. Um, you could bring explosive specialist or anything like that. So there we go guys There's the shock and all the crunch and munch whatever the hell the title's gonna say whatever the hell the thumbnail is gonna say I hope you guys enjoyed this I, I like bringing these fun little builds quicker videos to you guys and give you a quick update on what's going on on the channel Remember there's two trap tunnel guides coming. Well, maybe I'll get one done today storm king mythic storm set uh, World's first and everything else in between if you're not subscribed to this channel Maybe you should think about clicking that little thumbs up up button the little red thing that says subscribe if you want to know anything about fortnite first this is definitely the channel to check out unbiased opinions mathematically backed up <laughs> see you guys later tic tac out